Mm-hmm. Dave, to say your tenure with Slayer has been tumultuous would be probably the understatement of the century. Um, what is it with you and them? I don't know. I don't know. It's something uh, cosmic. You know, it's like every 10 years or something that happens, you know. I I was going to ask you, so how many times have you been in and out of Slayer? (sighs) Uh, Probably one, two, three. Three times. In in three Three decades. Three times? You're right. That's it. Every decade, right? Yeah. What is it, uh, again, that keeps you coming back? To who? Slayer? To Slayer. Oh, well, I don't think that's ever going to happen again. Well, the reason why, I mean, time passed. It was 10 years. Uh, When I returned in 2001, it had been already 10 years that I was out of the band. And, you know, it felt uh, like it was the right time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there was water under the bridge. We didn't have any grudges. But, um, you know, apparently that really wasn't the case because, you know, later I find out that, oh, well, you know, he left and in 92 so you know just get them out again well you know it's 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 funny because when we start playing in a bands mm-hmm. we're little kids yeah you know we are what, what were you 16 17 when 16? you were 16 when you joined well, my slayer. first band God, i was like 15 slayer uh i was probably 16 late 16 going into 17 years old yeah okay so we know ne- at 16 and 17, we're not looking at the business aspect. Absolutely of it. not. It's something that you learn as you go along. And, it, it, and it's it's a tough road, you know, especially when you're, you know, told that, you know, everything's taken care of, you're well taken care of, and uh, you trust these people, and you, you, don't, you don't think twice. Right. But then, you know, of course, you know, like ACDC says, you know, uh, was it the, uh, <laughs> the rock star? And then, you know, the businessman gets rich. Right, you know. right. You know, I had a, a conversation with Mark Farner uh, from Grand Funk Railroad. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, he's a guy that mm-hmm. was pretty much asked out of all of his royalties, all of his ownership, yeah. all of his publishing rights, because his bandmate was a law school student, and he mm. just trusted him and assumed, yeah. hey. There you go. He, Mark tells, he told me, he says, I didn't even graduate high school. Mm-hmm. So I assumed this guy who'd been to graduate school to law school. Was going to help him out. Was going to help it, him yeah. out. And instead, he, he shafted screwed him, him over. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's very common. And, you know, uh, our friend Bill Ward, you know, we've talked about that. It's just, you know, we're, we need to make, I think, drummers aware, you know, um, of their position in the band and, and, and spread the word that musicians need to educate themselves, not only in their music and their chops and, and you know, and their style and whatever, but they need to, you know, really learn the business, you know, because it turns out that a band ends up being a business right. and, and each member becomes a quarter shareholder and or in CEO of the band. And so it, it's very important. So. so now are you currently embroiled in a legal battle that you can't discuss here on radio with uh, Slayer? Not really. Okay. No. Okay. No, there's no legal battle. Okay. So how did that, that departure go for you? I mean, um, you know, I mean, I really don't want to, you know, get into the details, but, um, I take this departure like, like any other change in life, you know, and you just go with it. And, uh, and you know, I, I luckily had a band that I had uh, put back together before, you know, this whole thing went down with Slayer and, um, um, you know, you just move forward, you know, you don't look back. Um, Jeff. Yeah. Let's talk about Jeff. Dude. Um, now I was at, uh, two three years ago at the the big four out mm-hmm. in coachella yeah and um i gotta tell you bro and i and and when i saw your ex at my class reunion because uh-huh. dave's uh, ex-wife and myself graduated together um i told her i said you know what the coolest thing of the big four uh-huh. was when metallica was on and they brought out members of the other bands yeah and I said, Lombardo comes out in a Hawaiian shirt. Hell yeah. Maybe shorts. <laughs> and he gets behind the kit and just freaking kills it, man. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. And yeah. when I was looking for shade and beer uh-huh. when Jeff Hanneman came on, but, um, I, you know, the, the crowd is buzzing. Mm-hmm. And I just hear this huge uproar. And I look up, and there's Jeff. Um, this his, his condition, it was... It was pretty dragged out right i mean this yeah um yeah the arm uh basically 
you know, I mean, they fixed it and, you know, they did everything they, they can do to, to help him. But I think his, uh, the motor skill to, to play guitar just wasn't, wasn't there. You know, we gave him a chance and, you know, yeah, we could have, you know, maybe we could have put him, you know, a little low in the mix, you know, but still it, it's just, it, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't working right. You know, he just wasn't up to, to, cause you know, you have to have a certain, you know, ability to play the style of music Sure, and, uh, it just wasn't there. It's unfortunate. And, um, how his, you know, his family and everybody, how are they adjusting? Um, well, uh, shortly after he died, um, I spent the afternoon with his wife, mm -hmm. you know, and, and just hung out with her. You know, we went out to dinner and, you know, it's rough, you know, right. but unfortunately, uh, you know, he was headed, it was a downward spiral, mm -hmm. you know, for him, you know, cause it, it, obviously it was very depressing for him, you know, to have this situation happen to his arm and, and then, you know, him not being able to play, you know, he resorted to, to drinking, mm -hmm. you know, more than, than what he was already, you know, doing. And, um, it just, it was, like I said, it was a downward spiral. And so for the band, the mm -hmm. remaining four members, I mean, three, three, I'm sorry, three members. Um, I mean, you lost, I mean, not just a, a bandmate, but really a childhood friend. Yeah. I mean, at 16, 17, um, how did you, Carrie, Tom, how did y'all respond to that? Well, I, I don't know how Carrie and Tom responded. I mean, by, uh, by how they responded at the memorial it was pretty shallow. Um, you know, um, uh, it was rough for me because Jeff and I spent a lot of time on, t on the tour bus, you know, we'd show up at the venue you know, he'd get picked up at the hotel, show up at the venue, you know, by 4.30. And we would stay chilling on the bus until showtime. So there was a lot of interaction. There was a lot of chatting, a lot of talking. We'd watch TV. We'd listen to music. He loved my iPod because I had so much, you know, so many different styles of music. And he said, dude, throw your iPod on. And, you know, we'd laugh and, and joke around. And sometimes I'd surprise him with some music that he'd never heard of before. And so th there's a lot of memorable uh, uh, times that, that Jeff and I had. Okay. Yeah. And it's, it sucks, dude. It's, it's terrible when, you know, uh, a bandmate dies because that magic is forever lost. It's right. forever lost. That band had a certain chemistry when all four of us were on stage and, you know, not taking away anything, uh, you know, from, you know, Gary Holt, you mm -hmm. know, he took uh, Jeff's place. I mean, he's done an amazing job, you know, but still there's that, Oh, there's something about there's that, something, that core, that, core. that 30 plus year old core yeah, there, that you yeah. cannot replace. No, you can't. Okay. Your new project film yes. spelled P H I L M. Tell yes. us about that. Well, it's, it's my passion project. I love these guys. They're, they're excellent musicians. It's a trio, uh, singer plays guitar and, 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 um, and obviously sings. He's, he does vocals and then the bass player. Uh, Pancho Tomaselli's from the band called War, not Gwar, but War, the funk band, and um, you know we've been oh, we've been war, together. War, war, low rider, like exactly. There you go, yeah. baby. Yeah, a little funk and yeah. punk and. How old is this cat? Uh, he's he's, uh, he's 30, 38. Yeah, okay. yeah, he's not the not the, the original. original. No, no. I was he's, gonna say because if I'm you, I want the original. I don't want to be the oldest guy in the band. Right, anymore, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and uh, no, he's he's the youngest actually, and uh, you know he's he's a great player, and and Jerry as well is has a very unique guitar style, and it's heavy. It's very punk, and but it has you know a little funk element, you know, Love it. and it's it's kind of groovy.